Y'all pretty chilling. Moved up to Mount Washington not too long ago. Me and my buddies, we come up here and hang out. Usually have a good time. Then we go down there in the south side and get a couple onions. Always a good time. Started cooking not too long ago. I was working at the Outback. They had potatoes and uh, potato, that blooming onion. Everyone wants that blooming onion. I don't care for it myself personally, but not that bad. So then I went by seeing my buddy out there at the Apple Store down in North Hills. And uh, we were hanging out, chilling, you know, drinking, doing smoking and stuff like that. <laughs> fucking Bobby. Bobby comes down, pissed off at Sally. Sally's all fucking mad because he stole $300 off him. Like this fucking guy stealing money off his fucking poor girl. So I grabbed the motherfucker by the neck, man. You got his money or not? <laughs> My buddy was coming in the door. I thought I heard him. He lived down the hill. He's a good guy. He's a good guy too. He's a couple kids. But uh, I don't know. So it's, it's always been fun. I'm a young guy. I really live a crazy life. I made these potatoes. I made these with chicken meat. A little bit of peppers, huh? My grandmother taught me a lot growing up. My grandfather too. God bless his soul. He's down. He was dead. He was dead as fuck on the floor. Blue and shit. I was like, God damn, fucking took my pat. Yeah, my fucking pat was there. Ah, good guy there. Taught me a lot. God bless him. My grandmother too. I love her to death. All good people, man. And then uh, one day, we were fucking playing when I was a kid. They had me on a bicycle trying to teach me how to ride on a two-wheeler. It was a good time. They put me on one of them big wheelers. And, uh, and they gave me a cabbage patch. So I thought I was a fucking faggot or something. And they tried to teach me. Grabbed me by the seat. Pushed me down a fucking hill. Fell on my face. Got a scar on my chin. I said, look, crying. I bawled my eyes out. And I was crying and shit. I look, he said, get up, get back on the bike. I was like, God damn, got on the bike. Didn't get off that bike till I had pedal around the block. Pushed my ass down the fucking hill. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. <laughs> it's always a good time. And I came back around and he said, Pittsburgh Pete, huh? I looked at him. He looked at me. Rubbed me on my head. Didn't have much hair in that. I was a little boy. He said, you'll be Pittsburgh Pete now and everybody around town is going to know your name. So then for, I moved up here to Mount Washington. We we'll always have a good time with these young ladies. I keep going back and I'll tell you about these young ladies. We're on this plenty of fish site too. And these fucking girls, man. I tell them there are plenty of whales when I see them. And it's Jesus Christ, these fucking girls know how to work them, uh, them megapixels on them cameras and that computer. And they do that, um, that Photoshop, I think they call it. And, uh, hey, man, I'm looking online. These fucking girls are hot. Hot. So I say, hey, you want to come over tonight? Watch a movie with me? Sure, why not? Come on over. I got my shorts on. Got a long tee on, too. Thought she would like that. So I opened up the door, and I seen her. She didn't look like her pictures much. Gave her one of them hugs, you know, you wrapped her arms around her, tap her on the back. Said, fuck, I can't kick her out now. So she comes in, she sits down on the couch. Whole fucking couch she takes up. My dog's barking at her. <laughs> she stinks really bad. And I wanted to kick her out, so I didn't know what to do. So, I, what movie? She picks up the movie. She brings Shallow How. You know, what movie, little fat fucking guy, got a little tail on his ass. Hey, fucking movie with this fucking fat girl. She was really nice. Nice girl, though. After the movie, she gave me a little kessel on the neck. And I, I, I wasn't used, I was, I was nervous. <laughs> so she gave me a kiss on the neck and my fucking Peter got hard. <laughs> Peter's hard. She's looking at my Peter coming through my fucking, my basketball shorts, my ball shorts. And uh, starts playing with my cock. And I'm thinking, man, this girl's really big. But this feels really good. <laughs> So I let her suck my cock, and then I fucking blew this load, man. I felt like the man. Oh, I'm stressed out. <laughs> she wanted to stay over and cuddle. Told her I'd get up really early. I need to get some sleep. 
So she said, I'm going to stay over. Ooh. And I said, no, you're not. So she decided that she's going to leave. Thanks for coming. She gives me a hug. Will I see you again? I said, no. And she said, okay. Gave me a kiss on the cheek. I really, really respected that. <laughs> then she left. I came back in and went to bed. Texted me when she got home. Hey, I had a great time tonight. I think you're really awesome. I don't really hang out with that, that many guys like you. I think you're really cool. I think we should do it again sometime. And I didn't text her back. <laughs> I seen her a week later, though. We were down south side again, me and my buddy Frank. Yeah, he's fucking funny, man. <laughs> seen him on, uh, met him on Twitter, man. He's a really Twitter guy. We were down south side, this girl comes up. Hey, can I buy you, can I buy you a drink? Hey, you buy me a drink. What are you drinking? Looked at her, what she's drinking. She's drinking a beer. So I want liquor. Great goose of water. She got it for me. Frank. Frank it went down. One went down. Two went down. Three went down. By the fourth one, she was looking good. <laughs> <laughs> I started thinking about her kissing my neck. She started kissing my neck again. So then we went outside. She wanted to come home with me. And I didn't want to say no at this point. I was so fucking horny. I was going to grab this girl and her big hips and just give, give me some more of that, more of that cock-sucking stuff she did so good the first time we met. Oh. She sucked my cock again. We went down the alleyway. And she said, here, I'll suck your cock right now. <laughs> okay. Drop my pants. Standing there like the man I am again. She started sucking my cock. Sucking my cock. Playing with my balls. Started touching my ass and shit. I didn't like that. I didn't, whoa. Put her stop right away. Something new. She was trying. I didn't like it. It wasn't my type of thing. And dudes, did, my other dudes do that. Down at the saloon and that. 481 bar right here. And 53 straight. 53 straight. Down at Shady Side, that fucking guy's over there, man. I don't even go over there no more. I went over there with my buddy. It was out of control. These fucking queers walk around in fucking shirts and the collar's up. And I'm like, yeah, what the fuck? I had a fucking long ass baggy white tee on. And I'm like, my buddy's little joint south side. There's a lot of honeys over there. Yeah, honeys that want money. All my money. I went and did a job for a guy one time. That fucking nice ass. Smoking hot. Fucking mom. Life. Kids. I just fucking strummer and pull. Strummer and pull. She came out. She had a bikini on. She said, Hey, pull boy. How much, how much to come and clean, clean my attic out? <laughs> I said, well, after I get done down here, I'll come up there and take care of your attic. She looked at me, gave me a little wink, one eye wink. Walked up, shook her ass. <laughs> I went inside, I got done packed up. Went inside, collect payment, knocked on the door. She said, hey, you ready to come take care of my attic? I said, I guess if it still needs a fixing. Went inside, her attic was her pussy. <laughs> Went in there and I cleaned those cobwebs out for her. She said, I haven't fucked my husband for 14 years. I don't give a fuck. And I fucked her brains out. <laughs> husband came out. I was up in the attic still when he came out. Pulled out. Ran downstairs. She pulled out the checkbook as he walked in. Her hair's all beat up and frazzled. I'm You, uh, you went over your text messaging. And I don't fucking text message no more. 
while you went over, you got all these messages sent to your phone from these girls. And I tell them, girls, don't text me, call me. I got minutes, not, I got text messages. <laughs> so I didn't fucking pay it. It was $250. And I said, fuck you, Verizon. You ain't gonna get me like I'm a fuck. You're like one of those fucking dumb guys over in Shady Side. <laughs> then, hey, I went and got a cricket phone. Unlimited text messages, <laughs> unlimited mobile to mobile, unlimited everything. It's great. It doesn't work real well in the house. But when you go up, you go up in the high, when you go up in the, up, up, up on the hill up there and stand right perfect, you get great reception. I'm telling you, fucking amazing. And the phone don't work for shit though anywhere else. Good shit though. I put I cracked a bottle of pepper. I was cooking this fucking chicken fajita for me my girlfriend. She's a real sweet girl too. She got blonde hair and a big black. She got a little something on her feet though, and uh I seen her, when I first seen her, she took her shoes off. I looked at that fucking foot and I said, <laughs> what's that on your foot? Uh, it's, it, it, it. She called it, she called it a, a something sore. I said, what? It's a something sore. So she put her socks back on and I wanted to have her, I, I wanted to have her take her top off and put her socks on, so she did. This was beautiful, but her feet stopped. I still love her. But God bless her. Her daddy was a son of a bitch. He used to rape her, and I fucking looked that man in the eye. I knew he used to rape her, because he told me when you were drinking that one day up on his fucking deck. Oh my God. Him on his deck in a nice ass awning that hung over the top, so the sun would glare in my eyes. So we were sitting there on a hot day, and we were a little fuzzed up. And he said, How do you do with that ass? I said, what? I was like, fucked up. And I was at the bar talking to some guy and he started talking to my fucking girl. He said, hey. What? Hey, hey, you do with that ass? I said, what do you, what do you, what do you mean? He said, I know how it feels. Oh my God. I looked at that man and I asked him to never say nothing like that to me again. Or I, I said, I punch him in his mouth right the fuck as hard as I could. And this guy, he stood up, he said, he said, how was that ass? I stood up, I hit this motherfucker over the head with one of them bottles, one of them glass bottles from the Coors Light and Budweiser we were drinking. And uh, it cracked. She came out, pissed off at her dad. I haven't seen him since that. I seen him down, down at the pub one time, and he stood